Well, like you needed another reason to cheers for the weekend. Halloween is on a Saturday, so a lot of us are haunted by the fact that we have to be trapped inside. But that doesn't mean we can't treat ourselves to some chilling drinks to get us into the spirit. So with me now to share some tasty drinks you can make at home, Jules McIntosh. Am I saying your last name correctly? It's McIntosh. There's a silent A, so. Perfect. Okay. Um, so tell me you've got a bunch of spooky drinks that we can make at home. Walk us through it. Yep, definitely. I've done 31 days of Halloween cocktails. I'm going to highlight some of my favorite. First is a poison apple teeny. I got Ooh. the recipe from Disneyland. Actually, it's their signature Ooh. cocktail for Halloween. Okay. I made it my own at home. So we're going to do that. And then I have some really fun garnishes that you can do. So to make our cocktail, three ingredients. You're going to need cranberry juice, some sour apple liqueur, and of course, an apple whiskey. So all you're going to need to do is do an ounce and a half of this whiskey into your cocktail shaker filled with ice. And then you're going to do the apple pucker or apple sour apple liqueur, whichever you can find. Apple pucker's good. It's weak, but oh, it's good. <laughs> it's super sour. It's perfect. And then you're going to do some cranberry juice. So I do about the same amount of cranberry juice as I did whiskey. Okay. You can also put them in these cute little beakers to make oh. it all Halloween special. So we're going to put that in there. Perfect. And then, of course, we have to shake. I love how fancy you're getting. For me, yeah, I would just buy like a couple. plastic spider and throw it in a glass, call it a day. Yeah, so, okay, so pour into your martini glass. It's going to be all red because of that cranberry juice. Yeah, blood. It's blood, Jules. Yes, absolutely. So I have a couple of different ways that you can garnish this. I have a glow-in-the-dark cube oh. that you can do in there, which yeah. is really fun. Um, you can also do the classic Luxardo cherries, which is, you know, you have your classic Luxardos, which taste delicious, and they're very sweet. But also a really fun way to decorate your cocktail glasses is if you have a mandolin, you're going to take an apple, an end of an apple, and you're just going to slice it in there. Jules, did you say mandolin? Isn't that an instrument? I call that like a grater. Is that the it, same thing as it, a grater? But this is also a kitchen tool. Oh, so okay. different, same, same, but different. But you're going to end up with a really pretty apple slice that you oh. can just put That's really cocktail. pretty. Look at that. But that's not scary, Jules. I know. Okay. Why don't so you stick a finger in there? Like a, let you know, someone's not. finger. Okay. So I have another cocktail here. You can do something that's clearer, a margarita. You okay. can do a hard seltzer, whatever it may be. And you can do either charcoal, but I know some people are a little sensitive to charcoal. Yeah. But and it stains your teeth. If you have food coloring, you need green, red, and blue. And you do two drops. Oh, there you go. Of each. Let's see. Yep. And then the red. You do two drops of each, right on in there, and then you mix it all together. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yeah, and then you get black. So now you have a black cocktail. Uh, yeah, this so really all you need is some, some food dye, and you can put it in your vodka, call it a day. Oh, yeah. Oh, Vodka's that's fun. Sodas, gin and tonics. It's oh. <laughs> so you have all of that. And then, okay, so this is one of my favorites as well because it's for ki it's perfect for kids. If you have coffee, it's perfect for coffee. This is a non-alcoholic. Okay. So this is chocolate milk. Oh. And what I did is I took the end of a beet, just a fresh, fresh beet. I cut it off like this. Mm -hmm. and Beets are really big for Polish people. And it looks like a rat tail. Oh, it does, Jules. <laughs> No. So if you add alcohol in it, I call it a drunken rat. And if you're doing chocolate milk for the kids, I call it just a swamp rat. So that is my spooky Halloween cocktail. But last but not least, uh -huh. I have something that's really fun. If you're doing punch bowls for a big, you know, celebration at home, take a glove, clean it out. Yes. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add some water to it. Okay. Put it in the freezer overnight. And now you have... A hand ice cube. <gasps> that is so cool. It's so easy. It's so easy. I recommend doing four or five, and then that punch bowl, it's it's all chilled. It's perfect. It's so easy. I love this so much. I, you know, I don't have big plans on Halloween. I'm just dressing up and going to hang out on my couch by myself. And I was like, oh, I should make a fun drink, but I'm too lazy. But you've, you're motivating me. You know? Yeah. No, you have one that takes a little bit of steps. Yeah. You, have, you can do a vodka soda. 
turn it black. You can do the beat with your coffee. It's perfectly easy. All steps are here for anyone. I love it. Where can people go for more information on you? Yeah, definitely. So you can go to www.bringingithome.com or on social media. I'm at join underscore Jules. Jules, I love it. Such great ideas. Happy Halloween, boo. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Stella.